Mom, I'm finally four. Can I go outside? Devin, that's only when you turn eight. Then you can go out. Why is it taking so long? Because there's a terrible virus out there. People are turning into monsters. Oh, about time I can go outside. I'm finally eight. Not yet. The virus is still not over. Oh, God. The numbers are dropping. Why is that? They're dying because of the virus. Just wait until you turn 15. Devin, where do you think you're going? Well, I turned 15 today, so I'm going outside. No, don't. As soon as you go out, you'll die right away. Are you serious right now? Mom, it's been 10 years. Just be patient. Wait a little more. Breaking news. The virus is still devouring our planet and turning people into zombies. Devin, why are you watching this? Why'd you turn it off? Because. Now go harvest some vegetables downstairs. What? Mom? What is this? That's a flash drive. I'll explain everything to you. Are you kidding me? My whole life I've been consuming the news on this flash drive? Devin, it's not what you think. I just want to keep you safe so you wouldn't go outside. I'm sorry, Mom. I just wanted to protect you. I know. Here, drink some water. Uh, did you put something in my drink? Yeah, a sleeping pill. Because I really don't believe you. Oh, my eyes. What? I can't believe this is my first time outside. What? Did I just get infected? Uh, where am I and what's going on? You're at the hospital. There's been a terrible virus that just broke out. We're trying to keep everyone safe. Is it the same virus that's turning people into zombies? What? No. Who told you that? This just started today. You got any family? Just myself. Gotcha. We'll stay in the blue radius of the town to prevent getting ill and get some rest. School starts at 7 a.m. tomorrow. You must be new here. Uh, yeah. Can I suck on your toes? What? Ah, uh, he's just Frank. He does that a lot. Welcome, class. As many of you guys heard, there's been a deadly virus that broke out this week. As of now, we don't know how it's transmitted, so we're limiting outside exposure for one hour a day. Oh my god, this is like deja vu all over again. Attention, everyone. There's been one person reported that got caught with the virus. I report everyone go home this instant. Oh my god, we're all gonna die! Ah! Yo, I heard that you don't have a place. You can come with me. How far is your house? Should be like 10 more minutes. What the John? Is that a zombie? Mom? Did you just shoot my mom? I'm sorry, but that wasn't your mom. That was a zombie. I believe she's the first person that got infected by the virus. Yo, you got a TV in here? Yeah, let me turn it on. Breaking news. The virus started by three scientists that leaked a chemical in the lab. School will still be open. Oh, what? Guys, if Mrs. Smith doesn't show up within 15 minutes, we get to leave class. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Your teacher is sick today, so I, Mr. Mike Cox, will be filling in for her. You gotta be kidding me. Attention, everyone. The virus has been spreading through our town. To help prevent any more cases, avoid any physical contact. Give me that neck. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Classic, Frank. Bro, I can't believe five people are contagious. I heard the virus turns you into a zombie. Nah, that can't be. That's impossible. Devin, come with me. Yesterday, you claimed that zombie you saw was your mother? Yeah, it looked just like her. Well, she was the first one to get infected. We believe this virus turns people into zombies. You cannot tell anyone this information. Do you hear me? <sighs> it's getting late. When is this train coming? Mrs. Smith? Welcome aboard. Do you have your train uh, ticket? Yeah, right here. You're not contagious, right? Uh, no. Awesome. You'll be the third stop. Mrs. Smith, you're a zombie? What is that noise? Who the hell are you? I'm Johnny Boy. You can call me JB for short. JB, is that a wooden spoon? Hell yeah. Damn, someone has social anxiety. Yeah, well, I stayed home my whole life. My mom wouldn't let me go outside for 17 years. Dog, that ain't your mom. It sounds like you got kidnapped when you were a baby. Oh my god. Welcome, class. I know there's been a lot of rumors going around, and it's true. The virus is turning people into zombies. Oh my god! We're all screwed! Oh, calm down. Remember, we have a test tomorrow about Sokotoa. Attention everyone, this virus is out of her control. This town's going into lockdown. Oh my god, this can't be happening. Devin, you're coming with me. Ooh, can I come? Of course, Frank. Johnny boy, can we please go outside? No, we're in lockdown. It's against the wall. I don't care anymore. Devin, don't! Oh my god. I can't believe this virus is turning people into zombies. Ah, help me! Oh my god. Guys, what do we do? Oh, jeez, Louise. The number of people getting infected is going up quick. We should make a run for it and go to school. Frank, there's five zombies coming at us. Don't worry, I got it. Oh, JB, what kind of wooden spoon is that? Birch. Okay, class, you have 20 minutes to finish this exam. You gotta be kidding me. Nope, now take a seat. But, Mr. Mike Cox, there's 7,000 zombies outside. Yeah, and? Devin, wanna buy one of these? Frank? What is that? I made it. Just in case you get bit by a zombie, just pop one of these and you'll survive. Everybody run! Ah! I got bit! Devin, help me! I'm sorry. <sighs> Crap, all the doors are locked. Help them trap! <sighs> oh, I'm bleeding out. Here, 
here goes nothing. Ew. Get adopted by a fireman or a billionaire? I think we should go with fireman because he's going to keep us safe. Yeah, I think so too. No nope, billionaire. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. So, what are your names? I'm Margo. I'm Edith. And this is Agnes. Nice to meet you. Well, this is my home. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. This place is kind of creepy. It is. <sighs> There's nothing to watch. Did you hear that? I did. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, I think it's coming from over there. There was definitely someone down there. I told you, Agnes, we should have picked the fireman. Excuse me, I need to speak with you. Me? Yes, you. I have a secret that you need to know. So, what's your secret? I have a secret lab and I know you girls saw it. No, we didn't. Don't lie to me. I have cameras everywhere. I saw you. Creepy much? Okay, maybe we did. Well, I can't have you telling anyone about the lab. Uh-huh. Sounds like I should be calling CPS. No, I need you girls to help me with my plan. And what plan is that exactly? Go get your sisters and follow me. Whoa, what is that? Is that a laser? No. Who are you? I'm the doctor you saw in the lab. Well, what is this thing? My greatest achievement, a shrink ray. And we need human subjects to test it on. The doctor and I created this together. Wait we... a minute, so you're telling us that the only reason you adopted us was so you could use us as your lab rats? Not cool, dude. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that. Actually, we weren't asking. Run! Wait, wait! We don't want to try out your machine! Yeah! It's okay, girls. You don't have to try it if you don't want to. We don't? No. But sir, we only adopted them because- That's enough, doctor. We're not forcing them to do anything. Thanks for taking us to get food, sir. Girls, please. You don't have to call me sir. Can we call you dad? Agnes? I was just asking. You can call me whatever you like. I feel like Darren likes us. I like him too. But that doctor, she creeps me out. Yeah, same. Good night, girls. Good, Good night, night, Dad. Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I need you to come with me. It's time for you to try out the machine. Mm. Would you stop knocking on the glass? You're not getting out of there. Now watch this. I'm going to demonstrate the shrink ray. Isn't that amazing? Now, to test it on you. Margo! Let her go! No, guys, run! Come here, girls. Stop! Doctor, what is going on? Dad, help us! Oh, be quiet. He's not even your real dad. Hey, that's enough. Let's see how you like it. Close your eyes, girls. No! What do you know? It works. Gary, you can't do this! <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for saving us. Of course. And I destroyed the machine. What? what? But I thought you said it was your greatest achievement. Actually, no girls. My greatest achievement was adopting you. Oh, hey mom, good morning. Ew, why do you sound like a grandma? Uh, I don't know, why do I sound like this? Guys, don't panic. Everyone's gonna sound like this until we all find our soulmates. But I'm married. What? I mean, I just sound like this until I find my soulmate. It makes me want to scratch my eardrums out. Literally everyone sounds like this. You are so dramatic. Everyone's gonna make fun of me at school. Hey, Bailey. Hello. Hello, can you talk? Hi. Ew, why do you sound like this too? I don't know, okay? I have to find my soulmate so I can get rid of this. Don't act like you don't already know who your soulmate is. <laughs> what are you talking about? Everybody knows that you're in love with Stacy. Uh, what? I am not in love with Stacy. Yes, you are. Don't lie. Look, there she is. <laughs> Stacy, what's wrong? My mom kicked me out of the house because I told her that I like girls. One person has a crush on me? Seriously? I guess that's better than none. Josh, why are you wearing sunglasses in school? You look goofy. Because the ladies love it. My crush is one up to 25. 25? I don't even think I know 25 people. I'm just hot. How many do you have? One. Oh, look at the time. I need to get to class right now. Bye. Okay, bye. Wow, you know he's lying to you, right? But no, he's not. Josh would never lie to me. There is no way. He's been chasing the same person for 10 years. What? He never told me that he had a crush on someone. Oh my god, because it's you, idiot. Um, I need to go catch back up with him. 
Gosh, wait. No, I can't. I'm going to be late to class. When have you ever cared about being late to class? Ow! That's where you're going. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to trip you like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm Bailey. My name's Dylan, but why were you running just now? Happy birthday, 18. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so excited to be finally legal. Since you're finally old enough, I want to give you this necklace to wear. It's cute, but why couldn't I have it until now? The necklace is enchanted, and it holds all of our family fortune. Last thing, don't let anyone else touch it, ever. Congrats, honey. Thank you. There you are! Happy birthday! Oh, thanks, you guys! Cute necklace! Is that new? Yeah, my mom just gave it to me today. Do you mind if I see it? It's so cute. Uh, I can't take it off. <laughs> Why not? It's just a necklace. I told you I want to see it. I can't. That was so weird. Yeah, people go pretty crazy over the royal family crest. What? The necklace you're wearing is only for royal family members. Okay, I'm not a part of the royal family. Maybe it's a fake. You don't understand. The necklace won't clasp on anyone who's not in the family. What? Hmm, pick a soulmate from my galaxy or Earth. I've always wanted to meet a human, so I guess I will go with Earth. Activating Soulmate String. It will move when your soulmate is close. Hi, Princess. Whoa! How do you get your soulmate string to move? Mine has been not moving. Where'd you pick your soulmate to be from? Oh, well, I picked a human from Earth. Your soulmate string won't work. What? It only works if your soulmate is on the same planet as you. How could you pick a human? I am sorry, Mother. I let my curiosity of humans get the best of me. You will be single for the rest of your life now. My soulmate string cannot be moving. That would mean that my soulmate is... Intruder. Alert. Close by. <sighs> Hi. Uh, I believe this string led me to you. You believe your soulmate string led you to me? Yeah, I was in my space shuttle, and the next thing I know, I'm being pulled into your spaceship. So this must mean that you are a... human. Uh, yeah. This technology is amazing. Is this your ship? Yes. Please, do not touch anything. My mother will get very upset. Mother? Wait, who's your mom? She is the queen of this galaxy, and she does not like- A human! Get him. Whoa, whoa, hey, I come in peace. Mother, wait, we are connected. He is my soulmate, see? Yeah, bring the human to my lab. No, hey, guys, wait. Princess, please, do something. Make sure he can't move. Stop, no, let me go. You must kiss the human to detach your string. You will allow us to do that? Yes, remove his helmet. No! <gasps> what is wrong, human? I... I can't breathe. Go on, kiss him to remove the string, then he shall die. I finally found it! The magic lamp! I am a genie and- Oh, forget it. You get three wishes and you can't- I wish for more wishes. Has he never seen Aladdin? You can't wish for more wishes! Oh, I wish that rule didn't exist! You can't do that either. <laughs> oh, how did this guy find me? Did you guys tell him where I was? I got it! I wish for a paper and a pencil. Okay... Seriously, this guy is weird. <laughs> Finally, I wish for whatever I draw on this paper to come to life. Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Sure. Yes! <laughs> but if I may, what are you drawing? Well, if you must know, a genie. Hi, I can grant infinite wishes. <laughs> <gasps> You're a genie. Yes. I'm sorry, guys, I had to. Ugh, here you go, boss. Whoa, a magic lamp? Dude, rub it. No, don't! I am a genie and... Not you again. Look, I tried to warn them, but... Oh, my Dufelheimer, you're real! Yes, and since there's three of you, each of you get one wish. Well, mine's easy. I wish to be sent to my own private island full of models and puppies. Puppies. Okay, done. And you? Huh, I wish to finally be able to go on a honeymoon with, with my wife because, see, well, I work every day, all day, and, you, you know? Dude, get over it. Done. And I don't even know why I still ask you, but what would you like to... <laughs> I wish that those two idiots would get back to work right now! <laughs> Never gets old. Mm, yeah, baby. What? Why am I back here? 
sales are down bad. A magic lamp? Whoa! I am a genie! Bill Gates? Hey, genie. You know, I'd like to wish that. Dude, you're like one of the richest people in the world. What could you possibly... You know what? You only get one wish. You already have what most people could even dream of. Well, I was just gonna wish that we could solve world peace and eradicate all war, uniting all countries together. Wow, as honorable of a wish that is, unfortunately, it's far too complicated for me to solve. Do you have a less complicated wish? Darn. I got it! Look, ever since Apple took over the market with their little iPhones and iMacs, Microsoft and Android sales have been down bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, Androids have better cameras, better processors, better cameras, but people still choose overpriced Apple products. Yeah, that is true, that is true. So I wish that people would stop buying everything Apple put out and actually tried something else for a change. Yeah, so... What was your other wish again? I can't believe my best friend slept with my wife. Genie! Ugh, what is it now, my friend? I want to wish. Up, up, up. I heard you earlier. I never want you to make any dumb decisions, so I'm gonna give you three wishes. But whatever you wish for, your best friend gets double up. Damn! Okay, fine. I want to wish for a million dollar check written to me. Done. And now your best friend has a two million dollar check written to him. What? Okay, then I wish for a private island signed to my name. All right, your best friend now has two private islands written to his name. Damn it. <gasps> All right, then. I wish that you beat me half to death with that stick over there. Are you sure you... Oh, now that I can do. I am a genie and you get one wish. Not you again. Genie, my boy! Alright, so you know how I love Hawaii? Well, instead of having to fly there all the time, I want to wish for a bridge that allows me to drive there whenever I want to. You know you could just teleport, right? You know what? That wish wouldn't work anyways. The amount of damage you do to the sea and the economy? Can't you just wish for something simpler? Uh... Okay, got it! Look, man. Cats are so cute, huh? I've been married and divorced 12 times now. All my wives told me that I never understood them. Oh, I hear you, brother. So I wish that I could understand women, know how they feel inside, and what they're thinking of when they give me the silent treatment. Mm -hmm. Know why they're crying, know what they really want when they say nothing, and what truly makes them happy. Yeah, so do you want that bridge two lanes or four? I am so glad you came golfing with me, babe. Just be careful. These houses cost a fortune so we can't break any windows. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <coughs> babe! I guess we should go apologize. Hey, we just wanted to apologize for- I am a genie! And thank you for breaking me out of this lamp. Wait, you're not mad? No, in fact, for freeing me, I will grant you and your beautiful wife. Oh. One wish each. <laughs> but in return, you have to grant me a wish for breaking the owner of this house's window. Sure. I wish for a billion dollars. Done. And you, my queen? I wish for a hundred exotic cars. Done. And for my wish, I wish to take out your beautiful wife to a fancy dinner and, if she like, take her home with me afterwards. Well, I am rich now. Fine. So, how old is your husband? Ugh, 35. And he still believes in genies? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Alright, you get one wish. What's it gonna be? I wish for world peace for all the countries to come together instead of fighting over our differences. You know, that's really great, but it's a little too complicated for me to handle on my own. Can you wish for something a little more simple? <sighs> okay. Got it. I want to know exactly what my girlfriend wants. Um, okay. See, I want to know what she means when she says, I'm not hungry, you choose where to eat. And then she gets mad when I choose McDonald's. Damn, dude. I want to know what she's mad about when I've done nothing wrong. I feel that. And what she means when she says, sure, you can go hang out with the boys, and then she gets mad at me for hanging out with the boys! I wish to be able to read her mind. Yeah, I hear you, brother. So, uh, what was your other wish again? Babe, I got- Don't you dare use any more of those words, understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? 
Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be $6.99 back on the card. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed, now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because after I ate it, my head is feeling... <sighs> My phone is dead, and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> So step away from the girl, let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No! Doc, help me now, I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh god, you're... You're one of them, you're a vampire! Ah! <sighs> full now. Devin, I think I drank all the blood from my parents. JB, we were bitten by vampires at the party, we're one of them now. Stop right there! Wait, you're that vampire from the party. Yeah, what are you doing here? I uh, go to school here? Well, you shouldn't be here, they can see you and the sun's gonna rise up soon. Since you're vampires now, we have a set of rules. The most important is to avoid any clues, you must control the level of your hunger, and do not go outside during the day. You look like ass, Devin. Why'd you switch to the evening school? Go away, Jay. I'm asking you nicely. Huh, what are you gonna do? Ah! Are you crazy? You just slurped him at school? What else was I supposed to do? He was driving me crazy. You're wrong for that. You killed him, Devin. We have a very important rule, guys. Never drink other vampires' blood. Why? Because you're start to transform into a terrible monster. All that monster stuff is nonsense. No, it's not. Hey, Devin. Jay? What are you doing here? I decided to come visit you. You didn't drink all my blood. Well, I can fix that now. <sighs> What's wrong with me? You idiot. You realize I'm a vampire too, Devin. What? Mom, don't be mad at me, but someone bit me at the party and I lost a lot of blood. Are you kidding me? Who was there? I don't know. There were these random guys there. Pay 3,000 drops of blood for a bus ride? Why so expensive? You can walk if you don't like it. Fine. Devin, I need 5,000 drops right now. Why, Jared? I don't know what's happening, but I feel weird. I just need more blood. Hey, take it. I think it's because of the bite. What should we do, JB? Someone drank her blood at the party. I don't know what's happening. I feel strange, and the teachers are asking weird questions. Did you hear that they just found Justin's body? What? I left the party with him last night. He was found without any blood. We have news, everyone. We've discovered vampires participated in the party yesterday. Vampires? I thought they were fake creatures. If they managed to bite one of you, we need to know ASAP. Did they bite anyone? Devin, the place of the bite on my hand looks funky. Let me see. What the, John? What? You got bitten too. I know, but I got no pain. Devin, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Mom. What's going on? Open the door. I want to come in. Wait, don't! Oh, God. Ah, did you just bite me? Has the amount of blood loaded? Yeah, I think I got 100, Mom. No, Devin, you have 100 million drops of blood. That's a lot. Hey, old man, can you believe I was given so much blood? Oh, you young bull, I only have 10 drops left. What? Does that mean you're gonna die soon? Yeah, I'm very sorry. Not on my watch, you're gonna live forever. So each of you have a specific amount of blood, you can use it to pay for stuff. Yo, teach, what happens when you spend it all? Well, you'll die. Hey, I'd like to buy this book. That'll be a thousand drops of blood. Awesome. How many drops do you have, Devin? Around 90 million. Why do you ask? Well, it seems Jay is dying. Yeah, Devin, I only have a thousand drops left. Please give me a few. Fine. Okay, everyone, we're gonna have a school party tonight. Participation is mandatory. What? Why? You will know once you come. Now start studying. Hey, where do you think you're going? To a school party, Mom. Stop! You have too much blood. Huh? Don't even think about sharing any. Do you hear me? 
fire party, isn't it, Devin? Yeah. Uh, who are those wackos in the corner? Not sure. Maybe they're from a different school. Yeah. Ow! Someone just beat me! Ah, me too! My blood's beating away! Please, please be something cute. Bartholomew. Someone actually named their kid Bartholomew. I don't know what to do. It says that my soulmate's name is Ryan. Wait, like the Ryan that we know? I think so, but I can't even talk to him. No way. He's so hot. You're not listening, but what's yours? I don't want to talk about mine. Class, because of your behavior, everyone will get an assigned seat. What? I don't want to sit away from you. Bailey, you can go have a seat with Jesse. Who's Jesse? Um, I'm Jesse. Hey. Hi. Why the hell does your hair look like that? Excuse me? Why does your face look like that? What, like a Greek god? I don't know. Can I sit next to someone else? No, seats are final. Looks like you're stuck over here with me. Unfortunately. Are you new or something? I have never seen you before. Are you kidding me? I've been here for four years. What? I knew you were an ass. You didn't change from last summer. Hey, table five needs a refill on their wine. Okay, I'll do it in one sec. Here's another drink for you guys. Is there anything else I can get you? No, but you seem like a beautiful soul. Have a Merry Christmas. Thanks. Someone left a gift for you on the to-go counter. A gift? Maybe it's from one of my regulars. You're so lucky. I wish I'd get a gift. You are the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Enjoy the makeup. Secret Santa? I don't know anyone who would have given me an anonymous gift. The mystery is part of the fun. Enjoy it. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, Bailey. I am not taking table four. They smell like broccoli and B.O. No, there's another gift for you. Oh. Here's something to remind you of me. Secret Santa. You have to find out who's been leaving me these. Excuse me, ladies. Honey, why do you look like a chipmunk? You can breathe, you know. Why are you doing that? <sighs> I was trying to hold my oxygen in. For what reason? You know our family has infinite oxygen cans. Well, about that... I kind of lost my special canister. You did what? I'm sorry. How many sips do you have? Twelve. You better hope that you get that can back. Uh, Bailey, can you please give me a sip of oxygen? I'm sorry, Amanda. I can't today. What? But you always do. Don't be greedy. I know you have infinite. I lost my can, and now I have a regular one, so I can't. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. How the hell did you lose your special can? I don't know. I put it down on my desk, and when I turned around, it was gone. Do you think that somebody would have stolen it from you? Do you think somebody would have the balls to steal my oxygen can? Oh, do you mean this oxygen can? Zach. Please hold my baby. I'll be right back. Ma'am, I... <coughs> it's been like an hour. Where is your mom? <coughs> it's freezing out here. I don't think your mom's coming back. Hey, Mom. Honey, whose baby is that? Don't freak out, but some lady told me to hold her baby, and she never came back. <gasps> How awful. We better call CPS or something. No, no, I, I want to keep her. Honey, are you sure you're ready to take care of a baby? Yeah, you know what? I think I am. <coughs> it's not going to be easy. I know, Mom. I'm going to take good care of her. Look, Mom, I'm winning! Oh, honey, how fun! Hang on, I think there's someone at the door. I'll be right back. I... Hi, can I help you? Hi, yes, actually, I believe you're the one I let hold my child, and I'd like her back. I let you hold my baby, and I want her back. Please, hold my baby. Ma'am, I... I'm sorry, do you even hear yourself? It's been seven years. I waited hours for you to come back, and when you didn't, I decided to raise that baby by myself. As far as I'm concerned, she's my kid now. No, that is what you call kidnapping. That is not. It absolutely is. I am calling the police. What's wrong, Mom? Honey, are you happy here with me? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Well, there's no easy way to say this, but I'm not actually your real mom. What are you talking about? So, that's how I became your mom. But now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh no. Please don't let them take me. Now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh no. Please don't let them take me. Honey? Shh. She's sleeping. Sorry. But what did the officer tell you? 
that I'm supposed to give her back to her biological mom tomorrow. What? That can't be right. I promised her that she could stay with me. Oh, don't you worry. We'll figure this out. Please. I'll get it. Miss Stevens? Yes? I'm here because we have reason to believe someone came to your house pretending to be an officer today. Him and his wife have been taken into custody. Wait, so this means that I can keep her? Your daughter? Yes, absolutely. We actually believe they were trying to kidnap her. Honey, wake up. You don't have to worry anymore. You can stay with me. Really? Yeah, come here. All right, dude, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, man, just let me know. Can I come too? No, Sarah, go play with your dolls or something. <laughs> yeah, loser. <laughs> um, did you just make fun of my little sister? Yeah, but I mean, you did too. No one makes fun of siblings except their own siblings. Okay, bro, chill. It was just a joke. Flaming fist, fist form, fire breathing. Yes, yes, do it. Do it. Dude, your fist is on fire. Yeah, just like your face. What? My face is fire. Oh! Come on, Sarah. Let's go play with some dolls. Yay! Ew, your brother's so weird. What did you just say? <sighs> what? Why do I have a neck tattoo? Mom! Mom, look! You get neck tattoo without telling mommy? That's no. it! You disown! Hold on, what's going on here? Oh no, it's happening. What's happening? Only a hundred people are gifted a superpower every year. And when they're ready to use it, they get a tattoo symbolizing it. But a rose. I've never heard of that one before. Dad, I could lose my job because of this. Son, you have superpowers now. Go be a superhero. But I don't even know what my powers are. Oh, right. Why can't I just use my powers already? Whoa! Sorry, bro. Still learning to control my lightning. Man, I wish I had those powers. What just happened? Ow! My hands. No way. Oh, I don't feel so good. Huh. Let's go see what else I can do. Hey mom, have you seen my phone? Did you check your bed? Yeah, it wasn't there. And how about your car? Yup, wasn't there either. Okay. Now answer me truthfully. Did you check the kitchen? Yeah, I literally looked everywhere in the kitchen. I went through the drains, I got stuck in the washing machine. Up, up, up. If I go into the kitchen and I find your phone after you told me you looked everywhere, I will bring out the belt and no scope crank 90s on your asset. Not the no scope. <laughs> well, what do you know? It was right here the whole time. How? That counter was empty, mom, I swear. Time for your whoopee. Hey there, my beautiful wife and son. We're out of milk, so I'm just gonna go. Milk? Out? Since when? How did you- Both of you, hands on the couch, bent over. Mama's got some whooping to do. Yeah. <gasps> hey mom, Jackson's coming over in like two seconds, is that cool? Two seconds? I haven't cleaned the house yet! <sighs> I swear, if he sees your mess- Hi, Mrs. Boggs. <gasps> I knew this would happen! A wet sock on the bed, huh? Unacceptable. A single dirty dish in the sink. Disgusting. Got you. A speck of dust in the office. How could someone call this a home? Mrs. Boggs, under jurisdiction of the Neighborhood House Cleanliness Watch, the NHCW, I hereby present you with a negative 69 out of 10 on house cleanliness. My mother and her group chat will be hearing about this. Jackson, what, what about us? Goodbye. You filthy animal. Mommy! <laughs> what did I tell you? Get over here! Ah! Time to see how much money my boyfriend has in his bank account. Not that that's important. I knew he had money, but not that much money. I'm gonna pay him a little visit. Hey. Hey, handsome. I shouldn't tell him I know what's in his bank account. So, baby, what do you want for Christmas? Well, there is this Gucci bag that I really like, but you know what? What am I saying? You don't have to get me anything. Come on. Of course I'm getting you something. In fact, you might get that Gucci bag as long as you're not too naughty. I'll try. Right now, why don't you go out and buy yourself whatever you need? Okay. Bad news. What? Fluffy's sick. The vet says she needs surgery. Well, how much is it? It's about $2,000. We can't afford it. You know what? I think I got it covered. 
You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, good. Babe, I'm Whoa. it. Back. Listen, it's not what it looks like. We can't break up. I need his money. I can't break up with him. I need his money. Uh, her and I are just friends. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Babe, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. It's okay. We all make mistakes. And it was my bad, really. I should have knocked before coming in. Thanks for understanding. She kind of made a mess. Do you think you can clean up? I gotta go to work. Of course, honey. All clean. And you just go make the money. Thanks, babe. Love you. Bye. He is so dead. I'm so happy Fluffy's okay, but how did you get the money to pay for her surgery? Mom, about that. There's something that I need to tell you. I can't believe he cheated on you. I know, but now that Fluffy's okay, I think I'm gonna go break up with him. What? Looks like he just got another paycheck. And you still have his credit card. Don't break up just yet. I have a plan for how you can get revenge. Hey, sweetie. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Who is she? You know, I was about to ask you the same thing, but you look really familiar. Are you a model or something? Uh, actually, yes. Figures. I'm sorry, babe, but this girl was just leaving. But you said- No, stay. I think you're gonna want to see this. I actually got him a little something. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Oh, wait, but first, before you open that, I believe this is mine, right? Uh-huh. That's your Gucci bag. That's the one you wanted, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and open yours. All right. What's this? Receipts of things that I bought this week. Baby, 10k worth of stuff? Oh, baby, you and I both know that you can afford it. Oh, and there's a card in there too. Go ahead and read that. Roses are red, violets are blue. You're a dirty, rotten cheater. I'm breaking up with you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girl, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Wait. Ladies, I'll buy you anything. No amount of money is worth being with him. Goodbye.